the local art museum here in Wilmington, North Carolina, called the Cameron Art Museum, named after someone named Cameron, I'm sure, uh, was having um, an event and uh, where anyone, uh, any North Carolina residents or natives, could bring in a piece. And this piece, uh, if it met certain very basic requirements, such as framing and size restrictions, this piece would be hung uh, in an exhibition that would uh, last for some number of months, like six or seven or eight-ish months. And so I took a piece, and as it happened, over 600 pieces were added to this exhibition, and I'm patting myself on the back right now because one of my life goals was to have a piece of my own art hanging in a museum. I'm not really. I'm not really going to mark this off my bucket list, though. It's it's still there. I still want to have a piece of art hanging in a museum, like cur- a, some curated content, right? This doesn't really meet my per- little personal requirements for this because l- literally anyone could have brought anything in in a frame, I think, and said it was art and put it up on the wall, but it still feels really c- good and it feels really cool. Uh, And it's exciting. It's exciting. It's cool. So I have art in a museum now, guys. Hooray. Hooray. But anyways, during this event, it was like a 24-hour... The the museum was open for 24 hours uh, while everyone... There were people from all over the state bringing stuff in uh, because, because obviously, it's pretty cool to have your art hanging in a museum. People can go to a museum and see your art hanging there on the wall in the gallery. So cool. It's just cool. During this event, the museum was open for 24 hours, and they hung up for me um, a huge, I think, vinyl, maybe? I don't know. I'm not a banner scientist, but some sort of big banner. They hung it up for me, and they gave me a bunch of Sharpies, and they put me in charge of covering this banner in doodles. And the idea here was to make it some sort of big communal doodle banner where everyone there, because there would be people coming in and out all day over the next 24 hours, and, you know, some people would be waiting around, or as friends and family waited around, people would be coming and going, and as I stood there doodling, uh, other people could come in and add their own little bits to the doodle. And, hopefully, the, the thought behind it was, when it was done, it would be a very big, kind of community, collaborative uh, effort to cover up the whole thing, and it would be something that, uh, it would turn out in a way that I could have never accomplished on my own. And indeed, that is how it, is how it turned out. I, I personally, uh, I did leave at some point. I did go home and, and slept. I did take a lunch, I did take a lunch break. So I wasn't there for the full 24 hours that the event was open. Oh, poor, weak Peter. I wasn't there the whole time. I could have been. I, I, one, one day. But um, it, was, it was very fun. So here, here you're watching the time-lapse footage of people coming and going, people staying around ch- chatting, so on and so forth, as they draw on the doodle banner with Sharpies. And I was just very pleased with the, ri- the wide range of people. It's just like, uh, if you just look at the wide range of ages, there were six-year-old, like, down people that could barely walk either because they were so young or so old were drawing on this thing. Just happy to add their own little blurb of lines to it, knowing that they were going to be part of a bigger thing, and and they'd add their little lines and chit-chat with me for a minute and then walk away again. Uh, Most of them probably never to see it again. I don't know, maybe they will. But, I mean, if, if they lived a long ways away... I don't know, they probably, most of these people probably don't follow me on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, so they probably never see it again, but, and I was just happy, and the one, the thing that was cool to me is sometimes I would, you know, I left for lunch, and then I came back, and there were a whole bunch of new doodles that I didn't expect, and I didn't see where they came from, and I didn't know who did them, uh, and I was very happy and entertained to draw my doodles inside other people's doodles, the, the lines that they had drawn, I was just kind of filling it all in, tying it all together, um, it kind of reminded me of the way I sometimes start drawings when I don't know what to do. I Sometimes I close my eyes and scribble, and then I open my eyes and continue to build off of that. It's kind of the same thing, where I I have a lack of control and then I take control. It's, it's not all about control. And maybe, maybe drawing is all about control. 
and I was giving up some control of the drawing to other people with this, and it's a little bit, it was a little bit liberating. And of course, while I was there, nobody drew uh, any penises or anything on it, uh, but sometime in the middle of the night, maybe some things did um, morph and change a little bit. But to the, I mean, that's just the way of the community doodle. That's just how it goes. You, you can't fight that too much. Take it in stride, roll with it. There's some people that sat around drawing on this thing for ages when I wasn't even there for a while. I'm, I'm guessing because they were people waiting on other people while they're, like, people were submitting art or something. Uh, but it was really cool. Uh, I'd recommend this. It's just like a, there's nothing. You can talk with other people so easily, like while you're drawing, especially doodling. When maybe if you're drawing something and concentrate on drawing something specific where you need to get the details just right, your your mind really locks in on that. But if you're doodling, the part of your mind dedicated to talking and making conversation, I feel like that part of your mind is totally disengaged from the doodling and ready to. You can talk to other people really easily. You're good to go. So we, I was there's like. Sometimes there were like three, four, five people standing there at that canvas, uh, just doodling and ch chatting away. One thing I like about this, uh, this time-lapse video is just the way, I mean, you can, I'm, I, I'm probably the one that's in there the most, but the way you can just kind of watch people wiggle and wobble and wriggle as they stand there and draw the switching stances and stuff. And I don't know, it's fun to watch. <laughs> this people people are interesting especially especially when they're not paying attention to what they're doing this is what people look like when they're having a good time making art dippity doodle in it Does that sound too weird i don't know i think it turned out great i'm happy with it there is a pleasing cohesiveness to it sometimes i feel like when you get these community things and everyone does their adds their part sometimes it, it turns out in chunks and different parts you can see where everyone's little doodle starts and stops uh, but i think it all really blended together really well um maybe apart from like there's like a part down there like a nine-year-old drew she like drew her grandma's patio and garden or something i didn't really try to tie that in too well because it, i would have totally overpowered it but it, it, I, it's just fun to look at you can look at a, on my instagram there's like a thing where you can scroll through and look at it easier it's kind of hard to I need like one of those steady cam things to get like a really good panor panorama of it. But um yeah. I'd do I'd definitely do this again. I like the big format. The the communal format. Whatever. It's cool. Alright. Alright. See y'all later. You have a good day. And I'm just kidding, I didn't have anything else to say. Goodbye. Goodbye.